Yeah, I would say the celebration part was definitely a surreal moment. Like looking at the score, it was like 24. I was like, ah, uh, you know, it's just like we got one more point. But then as soon as we won the point, we're like, oh my gosh, we're in the Sweet 16. Like yeah. this is legit. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you guys think. I think just like being like even we were like what had a point for like two or three points. Just knowing, like trusting each other that we're gonna stay steady. And then once we did it, just just so amazed and like in shock. Yeah, like just really proud of the way we stuck with it. Like it was back and forth, especially that last set. I remember watching them like <laughs> nine, nine, 10, nine, 10, 10. And I'm like, <laughs> so just really proud of how um, we stayed together and we're just resilient. And yeah, it was a really awesome feeling at the end, just kind of getting smushed by everyone. <laughs> And uh, you're down 15 11 in that fourth set. Uh, what, what do you feel like changed from that point on? Uh, I think we kind of started serving more aggressive, but I think we just were steady and knew that we could do it and didn't really like bunch. They pushed us, so we pushed back. Mm -hmm. I, I think like we stopped trying to do too much in the beginning of the set. It kind of felt like we were all over the place, like each person was trying to. Do, too much on the court and then we went back to no i'm just going to do my own job and that worked out better for us hey caroline the tv announcers made a lot about you playing club ball with some of the girls that play for creighton do you think that helped you was that any kind of advantage knowing them yeah i would say a little bit there's actually a few of us that played with uh creighton setter um bean our outside and kim whetstone we all played club with her and then i've played a few of those girls in high school um, so I think that helped a little bit, but I think just overall watching the film and our scout team, our coaches did an awesome job scouting and uh, really helped in the game plan work well. So. Hey, you kind of alluded to it earlier, just making the Sweet 16. What, is it, what does it mean to this team? And did you guys think you had this type of run in you earlier in the year? Yeah, I think, I think going in, everyone just thought, you said it earlier like why not us i mean you can elaborate mm -hmm. more like why not yeah us? i mean i think that just like being the underdog like we have nothing to lose and just like i don't know playing with an open mind and uh letting people think like we can't do it proving people wrong like who doesn't love that <laughs> any more questions for Creed has a pretty big front line and i was wondering uh how did you guys construct a game plan to get shots past their big people up front? Yeah, I think um, they block different than any team we've played before. They don't really swing block. They just kind of move side to side and play in the, what we call the 90% zones, which most people hit in. And so I think Cam really tempoed the ball really well, especially our outsides. And I just drove middle and it's the middle stopped and both pins were open for a shot. So I think that really helped. Jenny can probably elaborate more on it. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I think Crawford really like, embrace the role of playing the decoy, which sometimes you don't always get all the glory and recognition for doing that. But like both Crawford and Langs driving in every single time being loud really helps like hold their middle. And um, especially on the pins, like me and Bean just had so many scenes that we could hit. Yeah. 